And uh, away they go from that 1,600 metre marker. Quite a nice start for them. Fateful day along the inside. Got a good start. Races off to the lead, but passed on the outside by Fujisan and Jaspero. So Fujisan will be the leader onto the back straight past the 1,300 metre marker. Jaspero races second. Dubai Hills is edged into third as Fateful Day has eased back into fourth. That's in the green along the fence. Racing just outside of that one is Atkinson Grimshaw with Golden Lincoln between them. Then behind them we find Bronze Sword with My Bestie outside of those. Then came Raising Quinn in the green and white about three off the fence. Euphoric is beyond that. Racing one from last and racing just outside of that one is raising Quinn and Al Ramiachi. Race into the turn now with about 700 metres left to run and out in front is Fujisan. Leads it by two lengths. In second place is Jaspero racing along the fence. Just outside of that is Dubai Hills. Then Golden Link in the green cap just one off the rail with Fateful Day along his inside and further back in the field on the outside my bestie. Homeward bound past the 400 metre mark, it's Fujisan in front, fateful day, quickens up nicely along the inside to take over the lead. Then Jaspero, my best, he's also running on towards the outside. It's fateful day in front, euphoric and Al Ramiachi trying to close in, but fateful day goes on by three or four lengths into the closing stages, fateful day from euphoric. Al Ramiachi third, then came my bestie in fourth. Yes, they had on replay. Fateful day, two off the left-hand side. The green with the silver stars comes forward and picks up the lead. Takes over from Fujisan. Uh, my bestie, Al Ramiachi, Euphoric. These are the two that were quickening up nicely, Al Ramiachi and Euphoric, uh, towards the latter stages of the race. But at that point, Fateful Day was off and gone. One, five, four, nine, the first four across the line. That's all we have for you from Fairview today. Tomorrow we are at Turfentain. Look forward to seeing you then. We'll be back here on Tuesday. Well, it's been a wonderful day. Not a fateful day, but fateful day. Wins the last this afternoon. Race eight out at Fairview. And well done to the Gavin Smith Racing Team. A runner that's been drawn wide on several occasions. He finally gets a draw today. And well handled by jockey Craig Zaki. Uh, Craig's got to catch a flight. He has asked to be excused. With me, Sadik, he's collecting for Anelli. So well done to Anelli. 1,500 Rand Will Sports Betting. And once again, thanks so much to Will Sports Betting, your fixed odds operator that does assist. And it really comes in handy for the guys out there. It is appreciated. 1,500 Rand. Thanks, Will Sports Betting. Thank you. Thanks, Eric. Let's go to Dean, the young gun Smith coming into the winner's box. And I got a message from his dad to say he owns it. You're getting half the chop. So <laughs> I'm sure that's going to be good. Yeah. So, <laughs> well done, Dean. I'm sure you guys will be happy. And did the draw have a lot to do? Yeah, can Canil, I do think so. He's normally too far off in the race and then he, he flies late. And today at pole position and um, Craig just had box heat and then he turned on in the straight. And um, yeah, very good win. 62 on his back. He pulled away. Pull the way then. Your day in general, did you expect a better day? A couple of more winners? On paper, both Nadine and I thought it could be a Gavin Smith day. Yeah, Uncle Neil, we did have some nice runners. Um, four seconds. Uh, Kimi Slassi, unlucky. She doesn't really try too hard. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, first race just needs a bit further. Ice cap, just a little bit of a learning curve, though. Can step up to the 14 mile. Montalina as well, they turned on, she got out sprinted. And um, yeah, in general, uh, fair day, uh, a little bit of ups and downs, but um, yeah, good win in the last. That's racing. Now, let's touch on your sale. Did your dad have a good sale? Yeah, we had a good sale. We came in with eight. Um, eight very good prices, nothing too expensive, luckily. And um, yeah, we've got shares available in three of them, so we've had in, a good oh, sale. Are they going to do a little bit of a syndicate horse as well? Or we, not yet? Yeah, we might, thinking might. about it, yeah. Think about but it. otherwise, you have got shares available in three of the runners. Yeah. They yeah. can c contact you directly. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All right, so very well done. Um, owners, just your father bred out at, uh, I can't even see you, yeah, 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 so well done to Very Fosfantine. big well done to Vasantine. Yeah. There'd be some nice horses. And a uh, big well done to Dad. Yeah. Um, those colours are. On their way out, um, so he's the last one left. Um, oh, seriously? Yeah, um, okay. but big well done, Tim, and a big well done. Uh, thank you, Josh Fonts Hollywood. All right, well done, Dean. Sweet. Thanks so much. That's Dean Smith.
and he did a great job with Nadine in the week when she interviewed him as well. And that young man I've mentioned before, he's going to go places. Well, it's been a lucky day in the office. We're back here on Tuesday, just to use a South African term. But we're back here on Tuesday. We're racing on the poly once again. Thanks to my co-presenter, Nadine Loaki. She did a sterling job. She's doing a pose in the corner there as well. Pauline Herman doing the photography. Downstairs, we've got Liesl and her entire team, the guys behind the camera. All over the course, we really do appreciate. We'll be seeing you next Tuesday.